to the channel and welcome to a van story. Actually several van stories. Tonight we are going to be looking at the little Dodge A100. Uh, I'm going to have three here and not a single one of them I built. Uh, starting with this one, this is a company called Liberty Spec Cast. It is a 125th scale die cast Dodge A100. Uh, straight out of the box, I haven't changed anything about it. Uh, like a lot of their stuff, this is a bank. And uh, like I said, it's just a cool. I got this one before. I've got the Jimmy Flintstone resin van uh, just never have built it uh, like I said this was just a cool little die cast and I, yeah, I'm not ashamed to admit I, I've got a lot of die cast I will buy a die cast of stuff I like I will buy a die cast of stuff I like that I'm never going to see a model of uh, but like I said this one is just a really cool little old van looks good on the shelf their truck is red and white and it's lowered with uh, what I always refer to as trick wheels, you know, the with the rivets, the solid with the rivets around them. Uh, I wanted to buy two of each of them and swap the chassis out, but uh, financially I wasn't able to do it when these were available. So we got that. My next one, ah, crash, is built as a 68. Uh, now, they didn't come with marker lights. This was built by my, my buddy, the late Brian Navitt, and I've mentioned him before. Uh, this is the Jimmy Flintstone, and I don't know, it's got some discoloration here. The only thing I've done to it is put the Nebraska tag that says Brian's on it, because this was his build, and he was from Nebraska. Uh, like I said, Jimmy Flintstone, resin body. It's prostrated. Ugh. I want to remember he put a, like a 440 or 383 in it. Uh, headers, big and littles. And this is, like I said, this is the way I got it when I bought it from the auction company. He put trailer hitches on everything. And I don't know if there were, I don't have any pictures of this one pulling a vehicle, but it might have been planned. Uh, this one's on my shelf near the blue and white one. And like I said, it's just, it was an honor to have this one in my collection uh, because, of, you know, I watched this one get built uh, back on the Yahoo groups back before Facebook and MySpace and, you know, we, you know, we did things old school. And last up, y'all have recently seen this one. This one was built by my buddy Irvin Arder and he gifted it to me at the uh, South Carolina Simpsonville Upstate uh, model contest uh, back in May, and I there again I just absolutely love I love A100 vans and I love the 70s feel of this one. I love the surfboards on top, the tie downs, the rack, uh, tires and wheels. And Irvin he just wasn't happy with it, and he explained to me, and I think I've told this story before, but he said he doesn't strip anything, but he stripped this one three times, painted it four times. Still wasn't happy with the color. I am tickled to death with this thing, and it is on my shelf. And I will tell anybody this story about this one. Uh, let come back around here. I don't think I don't know if it's got a tag on the back or not. Yeah, so I won't change anything about it. I was about to say I could put a South Carolina Irvin tag on there, but we'll just leave this one just like it is, and just be proud to own it. So guys, if you got any A100s, like I said, I'll do the trucks. I have built one truck, and I have a little red wagon built up that I bought. And I've got the die cast, so as soon as I get those together, I will do a show on those. Uh, also, like I said, Irvin must know me. White ball shifter, white ball steering wheel, or a turn signal indicator. Love that. All right, last up, guys, I'm going to make you jealous, because I have got... The coolest shop card ever. I uh, got this one Sunday at lunch. We were at a little restaurant in Marion, North Carolina called Hook and Anchor. And there was a veteran come through. And I always make it a point, if I see 
if if you're a veteran and you're wearing a hat, I will thank you for your service. I mean, that to me is just the ultimate in cool. Uh, I, I never served. Uh, I, when I was in high school, Ronald Reagan became president, and I just knew I was going to be drafted, but never was. But anyway, this is the coolest shop card ever, and this is what an American hero looks like to me. This is Clarence Holland, and he's a United States Navy veteran. And Clarence is a McDowell County resident. And now get this, he was born August 7th, 1924. Now here's a picture of him when he was young. He joined the Navy when he was 19. Now do the math. On August 7th, 2024, Clarence is going to be 100. And this gentleman walked into the restaurant unassisted and drove home. And God has really blessed him, you know, to, to be able to still function at 99 years old. Uh, I'm just going to read this. Clarence Holland was born in Marion, North Carolina on August 7th, 1924. He is one of 12 children born to his parents, Frank and Hattie. Uh, Mollister Holland. On April 23rd, 1943, he joined the U.S. Navy at only 19 years old. After completing training, he was sent to Tokyo, Kwanlan Island, and several other islands from Japan. He went to China with his fellow sailors, and they blew up several mines, and his main job on the ship was overseeing the deck crew. He was stationed in San Diego when he, when he finally got the happy news that the war was over. After three years of service, he was discharged March 3rd, 1946, and returned to Marion, North Carolina. Like I was telling my old buddy T-Dog, we don't treat these guys well enough. If you're a veteran, you have my utmost respect. And, you know, I just, I think, in my opinion, a veteran ought to be able to walk into any hospital in the United States of America, get treatment right away, unless there's somebody with a life-threatening illness, and not have to pay a dime. My, that's that's my two cents. And we like I said, we don't treat these gentlemen well enough. But anyway, guys, this is the coolest shop card in my collection. So anyway, uh, just wanted to share this with you tonight. Guys, y'all have a great week. And remember, if you like this sort of thing, and you like this sort of thing, this will be the sort of thing you like. All right, guys. God bless you.